Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, hopefully you don't hear the AC in the background too much, but it's super hot today and I really need it on because it was really hot in my craft room. I think it's like 93 degrees. Not sure, but it's, it's really toasty. So I'm back to share another journal with you. Um, this one actually, I love the fabric of this and I think I called it the chicken and rooster journal or the rooster and chicken journal. I'm not sure what I called it, but I absolutely love this fabric. So I made a journal out of it. Now this one is a uh, traveler's notebook size. So it's four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And for this one, I did not use any type of kit. So it's a more of everything that I was using in my stash. Um, there might be some other pages in there, like from a paper pad. I'm not exactly sure because I made this journal months ago. So I kind of don't really remember what's in it. So it'll be kind of fun to sort of walk through the journal and then relive the journal at the same time. So let's get right in. So in the first page here, oh, I love this first page. I do remember it. So I made a pocket um, and it has a big journaling card and a stock bin card but what I did is I bought this kind of like ephemera junk journal pack um, from my friend Lolly a while back and in it was it's it's a swatch sample this thing but what I did was I glued it down and I made it a pocket but what's neat about it is so you have the pocket here but also let me just take this off for a second this can flip up and you can put something secretive underneath like a secret note or something like that. Um, but this is the swatch sample. Then I just added a little flower there. And I did uh, a tutorial on these little envelopes and then I really liked making them, so I made a bunch of them, but I used one in this journal. And then inside, look at this. There's little teeny tiny cards and they fit right in. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so those go in there. It does Velcro shut. And then I just put it here, but of course, you know, you can put it wherever you want in the journal. Or you can take it out and use it for whatever, anything um, that you might want to use it for. So those go in there. And then I just used a um, scrap of the fabric to make a fabric ruffle. <clears throat> and then here, um, I took some burlap to make a pocket. And then I overlaid this um piece of a doily and then in the middle I put another little flower and then inside we have a library card um the, like the cabinet cards the drawer cards whatever they're called so you can definitely journal in the back of that and then here is a little vintage um picture of a baby so I put that in there and it was on some of this vellum paper, which is really neat. And then vintage book page. Here I have a little tally card that I turned into a tuck spot. And then I just have some tags in the tuck spot. And this is, I'm thinking I also got this from that ephemera pack, but I'm not 100% sure and I do apologize because for some reason now I forget, but I'm almost positive I did. Um, but it's an envelope and did I put anything? I did. Oh, I have a blank journaling card in there. But it's a first day issue of these stamps. So I thought that was pretty neat. And then on the back we have a keyboard punch card. A little place to journal here. And then I made a little pocket and then there I just have these two things. This is a vintage playing card. <clears throat> and then am I in frame? Yes, I am. Oops. There we go. We have some uh, ledger paper and this ledger paper is blank on the back. So you can also write on the back. These were stickers too that I had in my stash and I can't remember where I got them from. Um, I do apologize, but I did put some of these stickers throughout the journal. And then I sewed a little, uh, fa it's kind of like a fabric, like a fiber on top, just to make it interesting. And then here I have, um, do I have anything else in here? No. So I have a little um, 
little bag. Wait, this feels like I do have something else in here. No, maybe not. I have a little bag here that I stuck some of these um, stamps on, but I left it open here. So this is, I believe this might be a cigarette card, but I'm not sure. Mm, I could be wrong. Whatever it is, it's really neat. So I put that so you can see that you can tuck something behind there. And you know, you can also tuck other things behind there too. And then I made these um, tags. I just layered some things on it. And this is actually from some vintage wallpaper. It was all checkered with different pictures. So I cut out a bunch of the squares and I made tags with them. Um, so I used one of the tags here. And then here's another, it's almost like a vellum. It's a really neat feeling page. Um, and then I use some more of the stamps here. And then I have a recipe for black bean soup and it's blank on the back, but if you're into it, you could actually make it because it has all the directions here. And then this flips up and you can journal inside there. And here is a little um, scrap of, it's like a burlap, and it's a little, it's attached with this little brad. I think it's a Tim Holtz brad, and it has a number seven on it. See, a little brad. And then here, that does flip down for some journaling up there. Again, I did some layering up there, and inside I have these two journaling cards. And see here's another sticker there that I just decorated the page with another one there and these pages are vintage so here's the middle and this is pretty neat these are um, cigar wrappers what you would find on the outside of a cigar like on the outside part I don't know <laughs> if I explained that right but I thought that was as really neat against this kind of like um, craft color background it kind of like is the color of a like maybe a light colored cigar um, so I just put one here and I put one there and I just like the way that looked plus the red string that I used it kind of brings it all sorted together and then I just added some rickrack to that another one of the flowers down here and here's another little flip down there and then inside here I have a Jack Daniels playing card and a vintage Rolodex card and this is completely blank so again you can do whatever you want with it if you want to turn it into a tuck spot you can if you want to fold it in half and turn it into a little booklet for writing you can you know there's so many possibilities and I like in my journals putting random things in the pockets um, and then that gives you the option to kind of get creative and you know, think of something that you might want to do with the thing. And of course, as always I say, you can always just use it as a journaling card, journal on it, put a picture on it, and put it right back where it was. So, I mean, that's the nice thing about junk journals. There's no set of rules that you have to follow. It's kind of like, do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. So here is um, a coffee dyed, um, it almost feels like a wallpaper. I'm not exactly sure what it was. It did come also in the ephemera kit. And again, I use um, a little Tim Holtz brad on top to attach it, but you can flip it sideways. You can write underneath it and then it kind of goes back into place. Um, here, I did another of the little flips with some stamps here. And then I just did some tall and skinny journaling spots. And some more of that really cool vellum here. I did a little owl there. And here, a little uh, fabric ruffle. And this one here, this does not flip up. This is just a regular little pocket. And I put a coffee dyed index card. And then a little, it's like a memo little note memo pad page really cute <clears throat> and again here it's for some journaling and another of the first day issues and oh, oh 
Maybe the other one had some other stuff in it too that I just didn't notice. So this one has, oh, it mu they must both be the same. So they all, both must have the um, Rolodex card and a library card, a sideways library card, because I tend to put the same kind of stuff in the like similar pockets. So I'm assuming that's what's in the other one too. Another keyboard punch card. And then here again, another little tally card that doubles as a tuck spot. Another little sticker below. And a vintage book page. Here I just did a little um, brick rack over the burlap. And then inside we have a tag. And then this, can't you can write in here, but also this is kind of, uh, not kind of, this is part of what looks to be um, a page from uh, an adult coloring book. So you could even color this yourself if you wanted. And then, you know, write a little note inside. And I do apologize about my voice. I don't know what's wrong with it today. I have a huge frog in my throat. And no matter how much I clear it, it just, I always feel like I'm hoarse. Could be the allergies though. <clears throat> and then here is the back um, cover and this is blank so if you wanted to continue journaling on it you definitely could if you wanted to um, put a picture or something there you definitely could I mean the possibilities are endless so this is this cute little uh, traveler's notebook sized journal um, it is listed in my shop if you are interested I'll leave the information below um, but I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video bye